More here with Jocks and Nat, and we are just about to depart. We thought we were going on a sword fishing trip this morning, but when we arrived here at the Patna, we discovered that the yellowfin tuna are at a big rig offshore. So, plans have changed. What are the plans now? Plans are getting a bunch of tuna, and if we have time, two swords because we know how easy Patna can do that with us, you know. So, uh, our limit would be four tuna and two swords two swords so hopefully that's what we get in the box and uh we'll see y'all i guess we're gonna have to catch live bait huh? we're gonna stop catching some live bait and then we're gonna head out of the rig and see if we can't catch four yellowfin tuna and then 10 miles away we're gonna drop for our two 250 pound swords, swords. Fish. i'm super excited about this video it's kind of a mixed video i think the video is going to be on the tuna but we're all but y'all are also hopefully going to see some really cool content of us catching a swordfish we don't know we haven't left yet enough talk let's get out there You got a stringer. Best thing ever invented for both. Crackers. Mm. Well, we've made it to start tuna fishing. See if we can't have any luck. All right, Jock is hooked up. Jock's hooked up with a yellow fin. Hopefully. You got a gas? Yeah, I got that. Jock's making a little way with him right now. Oh, oh, no, he didn't like that. You got a big pile of water. You want me to hold her up? Yeah. I do. There you go, Jake. Ha ha. Oh, it's all right. All right, we got a little fight on right now. How you feeling, Jock? How you feeling? Not very good. Not very good. Yes, right. you are. You got this. Before. He's got a big old yellow fin on. Feels great. <laughs> it's awesome. Look at that beautiful yellow fin tuna. Oh, Frank, 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 Close 
Good job, buddy. I mean, great job. Great job. Got him. Got him. Press the rod, you got the rod? Yes, sir. Jay! Excellent. Don't hold the boat. Got him! Got him! Partner's gotten them up. They're all over the place right now. Guys, I might just shoot some stuff in the back of the boat and y'all can watch them literally jump them out of the boat. Tim, how you doing? Good, man. Doing good. I didn't see it. That could have been bad. I'm doing like you said. I'm seeing the entire situation through the camera. That's the way to do it. Perfect. This is nice. Jock, the, now Jock's uh, cranked up two already. Watch your line on the side of the boat. Trying to get the bait out. Y'all want to see them too? Oh, watch your line. Watch your line. I don't know why it's not open. Check this out. Y'all don't see the fish, but y'all see them two tails. And the banana, uh, yeah, those are for uh, swordfish. Yeah, but we we'll caught both of those. You know what I'm saying? Because if you don't get them, somebody else is, bro. You got to capitalize on every single opportunity. That should have been a double or a triple. We used to double up, and then I'd be going out with another line and triple up. Okay. Great advice from Pod Nine. Hey, hey! If you don't get it, somebody else will. Full contact tuna fishing. 
This video is going to be a great uh, advertisement for you, partner. Are we on on that one? No, sir. Sir. God, did you see them things blowing up shit? Tim, your arm's killing you? No, I'm just trying to position it. It makes it... Dude, that one's big. He's acting like a what? I'm good. Oh, oh, if you need to take it, let me know. You can't yeah. do that. Yeah, so I had to hand off the rod. No way. I've got a torn rotator sure. cuff, so I wasn't able to get it in. And I just, it just popped back out, so. Yeah, we cannot have Ooh, it. really? Yeah, so. Devin, you want a butt plate? Let yeah. me film it in the water. Let, let Devin fly. All right, I'm gonna finish it. Everybody. I was not able to complete it. I got about one minute fighting time. Jock had to finish him off and Devin had to finish him off. Oh, dude. Three tunas. Three tunas for Seaport Nation. I caught two and a half. Jock caught two and a half. I caught a quarter of a one. So. No, you caught two and a half. Caught, thank you. I appreciate that. Getting half credit. But this was a blast. We had an amazing time out here catching tuna on the Padna with Captain Darren Haydell, Deckhand Devin. That's 300 a, pounds of tuna right now. Gosh. Well, they're going to get pictures, and we're going to see y'all later. What's up, guys? <laughs> What's up, everybody? Jock Snack with Timmons Moore. And we are getting back from an epic day of tuna fishing. Um, we caught three absolutely beautiful yellowfin. We dropped them off at the dock, and we're going to... Uh, and we're about to see all there where we're gonna um get a video of Rod Bombalet cleaning one. Two, yeah, you know, just one. He's gonna clean the two and then we're gonna show you guys the third one. Mm -hmm. And this is gonna be part of the cook portion that comes up next. Oh yes. Jock's the got a little rest. Cook. The cook guys, we're gonna uh, do two different dishes. We don't know yet if it's gonna be the uh, steak kind or the sashimi kind. The we're sashimi gonna... kind is gonna have to be one of the kinds. Oh yeah. But um we're gonna figure out which one is best for film and uh y'all y'all will see which one it is. So
this little cup here. We got about a teaspoon and a half of honey, teaspoon and a half of soy sauce, and about a teaspoon of Worcestershire. That's gonna be our dipping sauce for the tuna. Oh, speaking of tuna, let's explain the process of how we cook it. So I've hear, I hear from literally everybody, even Padna, the worst thing to do to a tuna is cook it. I don't like my tuna exactly raw, but I do like it with just a slight sear on the outside and all raw in the middle, which is exactly what we're doing. So we're gonna show y'all the tuna and then seasoning them and then cooking them and then the best part of the video, eating it, obviously. Tuna is amazing, guys. We'll see y'all there. All right, guys, so one important step. I do this all the time, but it's really uh, important. Always dry your fish. These are some phenomenal slabs of tuna, and you don't want all that seasoning coming off and that oil and fat that's kind of in the fish uh, coming off because you left it wet. So we're gonna uh, season it up outside because my dad hates us getting all this countertops all messy. And one thing, video them. You all know what's going down. Is Famous the Amish, Amish butter. Ooh, right choice. Right, right choice. We're gonna move all this outside. All right, guys. So, as always, we're just gonna hit the tops, not the sides. Tops and bottoms with the Drago's garlic butter sauce. This stuff right here, it's no joke. As always, just rub it in like usual. Just a little bit of olive oil because I didn't, because I'm always worried I never have enough butter and then I end up putting too much. So a nice mix of olive oil and butter. Boil up. Boil up. Okay. So guys, get ready for this sizzle. Sizzle my dizzle. Two, one. Okay. So it's just 45 seconds on uh, on one side, huh? Not even hardly. All right, guys. So we I popped mine in the microwave for a little bit because I like it warm. But uh, cheers. Mm. Wow. Bro. I don't believe it. I got just the old Bam. That is Bam. unbelievable. Also, you did not get told to shut up. We asked you to not joke. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> None of I just jokes. One minute. Mm. Alright. Oh my god. That is unbelievable. Did it warm it up enough for you? Yeah. Look oh, at yeah. that. Look how perfect to me. That's perfect. See that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Tuna isn't like a steak, guys. You can eat it raw. But uh, anyways, thank y'all so much for watching. This is this is definitely our favorite, my favorite catch clean cook we've ever done. Um, be sure to like and subscribe and comment down below what content you want some more of. Uh, as always, catch clean cooks. We're gonna be doing an alligator catch clean cook next, pretty soon. So. Uh, that's going to be phenomenal, just like this. We'll see y'all later.